So they're telling us that these are equal. Again, you have this equal sign, which is um, showing that 3x minus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to 3x squared plus px plus q. And they're trying to get us, which is important, all of the values for x. So they're telling us that their values exist uh, for p and q. Uh, so first thing I would do is always ignore uh, perhaps the right-hand side of the equals because it's complete for us. There's nothing I can do to this. It's already expanded. So what I'm going to do here is on the left-hand side, I'm going to multiply out these brackets. So see my two brackets here? I'm going to multiply those out. So when I multiply out my brackets, I'm going first term by second bracket, which is my 3x times my second bracket, which is x plus 5. Then my second term, which is minus 2, times my second bracket. And that is all equal to 3x squared plus px plus q. And when I multiply in my bracket, I multiply the 3x by the x to get 3x squared. I multiply the 3x by the 5 and I get plus 15x. I multiply the negative 2 by the x and the negative 2 by the 5 to get minus 2x minus 10. And that is equal to 3x squared plus px plus q. On the left hand side, I can group the 2x minus 2x and the plus 15 to get 3x squared plus 13x minus 10 is now equal to 3x squared plus px plus q. And I've gone as far as I can on the left hand side. So now I'm basically just going to match up or pair up the degrees of 2, the degrees of 1 and then the constants. So my first ones, my x squared, so let's pair them up. I have a 3x squared, which is coming from here, and that's equal to the 3x squared on the right. So that's fine. There's nothing I can do or need to do there. So there's uh, very little to do. 3 is equal to 3, but I've just done it nonetheless. I'm now going to come over to my degree of 1, x to the power of 1, and I'm now matching up the plus 13x and the plus px. So I'm pairing up, as I said, the plus 13x and the plus px. So what does that give me? That's giving me 13x is equal to px. So that means I can divide both sides by x, or in other words, they can cancel out. So 13 is equal to p. And there's my value for p. And now I'm going to come to my constant, the number on its own, which is my q. So I'm just going to write constant here. A constant is a number that doesn't have an x, and I'm going to pair up uh, the minus 10 with the q. So that's telling me that q is equal to minus 10, isn't it? So minus 10 is equal to positive q, so therefore minus 10 is equal to q. Or you can rearrange them, q is equal to minus 10, whichever way you want to write it.